Hey guys, we're here in Chula Vista, California, and we're sitting in the uh, Monitor World that me and Opie run. We are uh, the Monitor Engineers for Kenny Chesney. I've been here 16 years. You've been here... Dixon for him since 2009. It didn't start with two consoles, and especially didn't start with Midas, but we've rolled up and got some uh, really quality gear through the time, and uh, we've had a lot of fun. And luckily now we're at a point where we can have uh, some pro X's in our world, and it's really working out well. So you might notice that there's not only two engineers in Monitor World and Kenny's World, but there's also two consoles, two Pro X's to be exact. One of the reasons that that all came to be is back in the day, Kenny was moving further out in front of the crowd with a T or a thrust. For part of the years, he was flying in from front of house on a small little uh, right about stool. It was over the crowd. So it just became necessary to really watch what was going on. If he knocked off a pack, dropped a microphone, lost his ears, battery died, whatever it was, it took all of my time really be on him and make sure he was having what he needed to do his job. With Opie being a wire guy at the time, it was just a natural step for him to step behind the console and, and help me out reaching over my shoulders. We were a tag team. It turned into multiple consoles. We've got everybody on ears now. We've got wedges going on. There, there's so much going on and, and I, I can tell you this, I, I couldn't do it without Opie. My daily workflow is pretty much just trying to duplicate the great sound or where they're happy at every night from venue to venue, which is probably our biggest challenge because we play anywhere from a fair to an amphitheater like tonight to an NFL stadium within one tomorrow. week. So yeah, tomorrow we'll, we'll be at the 49ers stadium. So as you know, if you've ever mixed monitors, nobody has the same mix. so. It's always making sure they have what they need and uh, trying to just replicate it where they can either perform at the same level or better than they did the night before and vice versa. It really does take two guys and what we're doing with, with the Kenny Chesney Band and organization. And the Pro X is, has really just satisfied every need we've needed. Our signal flow through the Midas Pro X system, we implement 431s. We actually have four, so we could do up to 96 channels. We're also implementing two 451s to run all our ear outputs, and I'm running a few mixes for wedges to stage. But we don't have to share uh, head amps. That's the luxury of the system. We're almost using as it would be a front of house and monitor system on two monitor desks with the versatility to do whatever he needs to do for Kenny and whatever I need to do for the band. Pro X has a lot of new features, but one of my favorite new features is the center section, man. That whole area is such an easy to use place. There's all kinds of features on it that are, are awesome. I mean, we've loved the pop groups from day one. But with all the extra aux outputs and the ability to flip them down to the bottom faders for the MCAs, and, and the whole section there just makes Monitor World such an easy place to use. Every time we upgrade something, it's for the better. It really has worked out well. And these, these mods that were done to our Pro X's, these were our Pro 9's that are sitting in front of you. All they did was do the changeover of the master section, but then being able to name them, change colors of them, it's just not the laid out potentiometer looking section. And then being able to select master outputs by one key down and it flips it down to your VCA's and adding extra pop groups. Awesome. It's something we never had until we were worked on a Pro Series console, but then you just couldn't get enough of them. Yeah. You know? Of course, there's always going to be wants and needs, but I think this upgrade was really, really awesome. And uh, it does help me get around the flow of the console better. So basically, we've got a lot going on inside the console. Uh, verbs, comps, gates. Uh, the gates are very fast. Comps are, are very friendly and easy to use. With the new additions of the settings, it allows us to give uh, really a finesse to the sound. The upgrade on this one from the hall reverbs and stuff to, to the plate reverbs for vocals, huge change in that for me, for what I'm using. I actually liked on the outputs of the Pro 9 the shimmer filter, uh, which now they've added a presence filter on each individual comp, and that's actually a really cool feature because I don't really use a compressor as per se to compress the signal as it is to keep the, the whole top end in line and then adding the presence back in the makeup game really I, I'm barely touching it just to keep that nice top end on it and the vintage is one of my favorites I'm doing a little bit of processing on everything and of course your low filter high filter stuff you know and and then hitting the yellow preamp Every day I, I go through my console, I know if I'm at the first yellow, barely hitting second, that preempt singing, and that's that might have sound. That's where we both really kind of get most of our sound from, so we don't have to process too much. Saturate that preamp just, just a tiny bit and let it sing, let it do its job. 
So from Opie and Sidefield, monitor engineers for Kenny Chesney and Kenny Chesney's band, we'd like to thank you for being with us today and being our guest. Thank you for watching The Midas. We're live here from Chula Vista, California. Please come out and check our show out. And remember, we're mixing on the Pro X Series console by Midas.